Hey everybody, FluBA Collector here. Uh, just wanted to do a PSA return uh, video. Uh, I did a, a 27 card submission. I mailed it out on May 11th of 2020 and I got it back today. So it actually came in two boxes. I have gone through them and I've got them all in my perfect fit sleeves and I just wanted to show, show them off. Uh, this is the third uh, of five submissions that um, I've gotten back pretty much right around the 30 to 35 day mark. Um, one was a 10 card submission, another one was a 20 card submission that I did a 30 card PSA return video not too long ago. Uh, those, I, those two submissions uh, I did as one video and this one is a 27 card submission. Um, and then I have two other submissions that are outstanding. One is in the grading process, which is a single card uh, that I actually did for, uh, for a friend uh, of mine and um, another one is actually two tickets so that one's still in fact that ticket one went out the same day as the other two uh, the 10 and the 20 card submissions that I sent that's still sitting in status three but again that's uh, uh, that's tickets and so I'm kind of sitting expecting that to sit 75 to 90 days uh, if I don't get that, that back sometime till the end of the year uh, late fall early winter that's fine by me but uh, anyway, uh, quick returns that I've gotten from new submissions to PSA. My suspicion is that perhaps just uh, being shut down and having cash flow kind of interrupted, perhaps they're uh, kind of cherry picking some of the um, uh, orders that uh, are essentially full price um, that they can kind of turn around and get those billed out fairly quickly. Um, don't know, just guessing, um, just Excuse me. At the end of the day, I feel fortunate uh, to have gotten them back so quickly. Um, I'm glad glad I was prepared for it, uh, I guess financially, but uh, um, I really wasn't expecting to get them back until I think I was projecting out to the October, uh, November time frame. So, anyway, <coughs> excuse me. Um, 27 card submission. Got a little bit of uh, Pokemon. Uh, have a little bit of uh, a single Fortnite card. Uh, some baseball as well as some uh, primarily football actually uh, a big chunk of different uh, football rookies uh, more in the 1980s um, so anyway uh, enjoy the video and uh, here we go so first one I'm going to show is uh, Pokemon cards really quick this is a 2016 um, uh, e or XY um, series uh, and this is uh, the FA uh, I don't know hopefully it's coming through okay uh, if you can read that is for full art so this is considered a full art card we got a uh, uh, near mint uh, mint uh, 8 on this so this is for my boy I used my uh, free uh, free submissions um, uh, from the collectors the, the club um, for, for PSA uh, so I told him he could go ahead and submit some cards, and so I, I did. So we have another full art card. I guess I'll tip them a little bit. That helps with the glare. Um, again, another another 2016 XY. This is a full art um, Mega Blastoise EX. So what did we get on that? Uh, on Mint 9. Then we have a 2016 uh, XY Full Art Dragonite EX. And we received a Gem Mint uh, 10 here on a 2016 XY Mega Blastoise EX Hollow. Of Blastoise. I don't know if I said that. So sharp looking cards. So I was actually impressed that we even got a 10 um, on these just because the kids open these packs and, um, you know, they actually, we, we put them in sleeves fairly quickly after they got them out of the uh, sleeves, but I let them look at them, you know, develop a love for the hobby. Um, and then they, you know, had them up in their room for a little bit. Then we decided to go ahead and, you know, when I told them they could take some, take some of my free submissions, um, you know, to get a 10, you know, they're, they're taking care of them, I guess. So this is a 2019, so those others were 2000, uh, 2016 ones. This is a 2019 uh, Sun and Moon uh, Full Art 
uh, Aerodactyl EX, or sorry, GX, and we received a Mint 9. So, good looking card. Uh, now this was, uh, I, oh yeah, Unified, Unified Minds. Um, they have all kinds of different sets. I don't really follow Pokemon, except the kids do, but um, anyway, he got a few, a few of his, uh, his neat cards. And then this one, this is a Fortnite card. This is the 2018 Panini Fortnite. This is a holofoil of number 252, the Black Knight. Um, we received an 8, 8.5. I was really thinking that we had um, a shot at a 9. Um, and uh, anyway, we'll, we'll take the 8.5. Eight uh, um, this is a fairly valuable card, actually. In the 10, I think I saw one sell maybe for over a grand. Might have gone for like twelve hundred dollars. Um, crazy, some of the some of the prices. Now that was a crystal shard. This is a hollow foil. So if you're familiar with the Fortnite community at all, uh, the crystal shards are kind of a cracked ice uh, look, and those are the most valuable. Uh, then there's these hollow foils, which is the next most valuable, and then just the the bases. But uh, they they this would be considered a short print. Um, I won't go into it because this is mostly a baseball uh, channel, but um, anyway, uh, still this is uh, you know this is a decent decent value card, um, even in an eight and a half. Uh, it's just seemingly fairly rare, and there was the U.S. runs were fairly limited um, in the grand scheme of it. So anyway, Black Knight, Fortnite. Here we go, getting under the baseball. So real quick, this next card that I'm going to show came out of one of my. Uh, Filmington's uh, RC Explosion Boxes. It's a Clayton uh, Kershaw rookie, 2008 tops, and we got an eight. So this was essentially straight out of the box, straight into a sleeve, and we got an eight. So um, I really was kind of thinking it might get uh, nine, possibly even a chance at a ten, but um, I mean, I, I'm fine with it. It's just neat to have something like that come out of uh, Filmington's uh, RC Explosion Box submitted. Um, so Clayton Kershaw rookie, I didn't have this card before. Then this particular card I'm going to show came out of Stoff Sports Junk Wax. This was actually one of the best pulls that I, that I got, uh, was the uh, 1990 Bo Jackson, uh, score, uh, shoulder pads and baseball bat. And we got a, a mint nine uh, on that one. So a good pull from uh, Stoff Sports, uh, Junk Wax boxes. Um, I think he did four versions of those. Um, and I don't know if he has any intention. He's not. He's only been making like one video a month here lately. But uh, Stuff Sports. I think he, he's talking about doing podcasts. Although I haven't, uh, I haven't picked up or listened to any uh, of them. But anyway, the Bo Jackson. We're all familiar with the with the back. So these next three, um, I was expecting uh, these types of grays. I was thinking they'd probably be sixes all the way across the board, but. Uh, um, we got, uh, some Ricky Henderson rookies. We pulled a five, a six, and a six and a half. So these, these ones were straight out of my personal collection, uh, that I've had in boxes, um, for the longest time. They were stored even outside of a poly sleeve. They were just, uh, in a box, uh, along with my other cards, and some point when I started, you know, going through all my cards and kind of getting reacquainted with the hobby, I poly sleeved everything. Um, wasn't too a couple two years ago I was going through kind of a <laughs> collection series uh, of kind of the process by going through literally sleeving every single one of my cards at a minimum, and then someone into card savers. These these obviously would have gone into card savers, but um, um, oops. I'm put them in low to high range but uh, anyway I did some series on kind of organizing my hobby uh, and uh, I'll do another video I was still it's still a work in progress it's crazy uh, so then um, these next three I submitted um, for the last uh, of my uh, collection so I had several of these I've submitted uh, some of my other ones uh, and these um, I submitted this is the Jerry Rice. So this is all going to be football cards coming up. Got all sevens on these. I wasn't actually expecting even sevens on these just for some some of the centering and whatnot. But uh, 
pretty stoked to get some sevens. Good chance I'll take the collection uh, of Jerry Rice's, kind of evaluate the pricing and see what it's going to take and push push up, uh, uh, my, push my quantity down and maybe try to go out and get a nine. Um, I don't think I'm going to attempt to go for a ten, <laughs> but we'll see um, uh, about going for a nine depending on uh, on what I get because I've probably got somewhere in the proximity of eight uh, of Jerry Rice rookies. Uh, in varying stages with the highest being an eight. I already have uh, at least one eight. Um, so Jerry Rice rookies. And then similarly, I polished off my uh, remaining quantity of Steve R Young rookies from the 86 tops. And uh, this one, we got a seven, seven and a half, and an eight. So previously, my highest uh, uh, graded uh, card was a seven in the Steve Young. So I was really happy to pull the eight. Um, so I might do something similar with the Steve Young is, uh, see what I need to do to sell off and try to push myself to get, uh, to get a nine of the Steve Young. Um, again, I don't see myself going for a 10. Um, but, uh, anyway, uh, fun to pick those or get those all, uh, submitted and all of those graded. So here's some other random rookies. These are going to be out of the 85 tops. So grab the Richard Dent rookie. Got a seven on that. It's a tough set, these black borders um, to get graded. Um, Steve McMichael, rookie. And we got a uh, eight in that one, so that was a nice little grade for Steve McMichael, rookie. And we pulled an 81 tops. Dan Hampton, rookie. Got a seven. Again, these are all from my collection. I had uh, sets of these, and I ended up pulling out all the ho football Hall of Famers from the sets and dropped them in card savers. So I just decided to start, as I'm making submissions, start pulling those and, and submit them, give myself a little variety um, in terms of what I submit into PSA and, and just continue to work through those. Um, I've got so many cards that need to get submitted. Um, just piecemeal it. I'll keep myself busy for, for years to come. So we got a 1982 Tops uh, LT, Lawrence Taylor rookie. Uh, pulled a 7 on that. And from the same 1982 Tops, we got uh, rookie for Ronnie Lott. So we pulled an 8 on the Ronnie Lott. Nineteen eighty-four tops. I submitted two of this particular one. Now this is Kurt Warner, rookie, which we were able to pull uh, an eight, or sorry, an eight and a nine. So I was able to get a nine, Kurt Warner. Um, similarly, I might evaluate pricing for an eight and nine. Uh, Kurt Warner might be somebody that I went push to get a ten uh, to have in the collection rather than than two, but. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. Uh, now that I've got them in here and I kind of give myself some options, I can piecemeal some things. Um, there's certain cards that I'm more tied to than others, so who knows what I'll do. Uh, but at least now I'll have some options. Uh, so we got eight and nine, Kurt Warner rookie. So then similarly, I submitted uh, two of these cards. 1984 tops. Eric Dickerson rookies. Sevens on both of those, but good looking cards. Centering, centering on this one's just a smidge off left to right. This one's a little bit top to bottom. This is probably a little off top to bottom too. But uh, this one, left to right centering, is pretty, pretty damn spot on. Looks, looks pretty sharp. So, uh, but both sevens on those. Eric Dickerson rookies. Then the last card for this submission, uh, from a 1985 set again, uh, is a Warren Moon. Uh, rookie. Oops. Turn it the wrong way. So Warren Moon rookie, we got eight on that. So all in all, pretty pretty happy with the submission. Um, I wasn't expecting anything super flashy from it, um, but uh, was really happy to uh, to get them uh, submitted and uh, going through now. And I got to figure out what my next uh, next submission will be. Uh, 
get these uh, last three submissions. That's what, 60 some odd cards. Um, I'll probably try to do a better job getting some of the, the bulk pricing um, for the next submissions because um, I have so many. I mean, just 1987 tops alone. I, th I think in my collection, literally, I have 100 and some odd Mark McGuire uh, 87 tops. Um, Bo Jackson's I'd like to submit from that same set. Um, it just it goes on and on. But uh, in any case, it's a lot of fun. Uh, and uh, glad to go ahead and uh, get the submission back and uh, get my grades. And now I get to figure out what I'm going to do next. Anyway, God bless. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are having a good one. Take care.